Okay, good morning everyone. It is now 10.59 in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Thank you so much for spending your Saturday morning with us here at the Packet Hacking Village. There are many opportunities uh, around here. We got captured a packet going on right now. We have the wall of sheep. We have the packet detective in the back corner. We have emerging technology booth in the, in the back. And right next to it is our DJ booth. And it is now the top of the hour, 11 a.m. here. And we have the second speaker workshop. And this speaker workshop, I know a lot of people are looking forward to. Oh, oh boy. At any rate, please feel free to make yourself a home. Are there any empty seats? Are there any? I can't see through the light. Okay. Please make yourself a home. For now, it is absolutely my pleasure to introduce to you our next speaker, who will be talking about monkeys in the middle. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Simpson, everyone. All right, maybe we're good to go. Excellent. So yeah, I'm glad being said monkeys in the middle because man in the middle is a sexist term. It was created a long time ago. We should never ever use it again until my next slide. So I apologize for that in advance. Um, I'll make the next presentation better. So it starts with who am I? And basically I'm just a security researcher on the side. Uh, my day job, I'm a CIO for an accounting firm. And we actually uh, use a man in the middle techniques to, uh, to create a captive portal for a small segment of our audience and, and, and market a product to them. So man in the middle can actually be used for profit other than the type of profit we generally talk about on this stage, right? So what is man in the middle, or monkey in the middle, sorry. Uh, there's a number of different uh, um, acronyms that are used to, to describe it. But more or less, what you need to know is it's not just sniffing, right? You've got to sniff some packets, but that's not what it's all about. Um, if I were talking to, um, you know, I'm going to jump down to the illustration here. Alice and Bob are speaking, right? I'm, I'm speaking with Alice here. I'm Bob, obviously. I'm speaking with Alice here. Nice beard, by the way. I love it. So anything I say to Alice, you potentially could hear as long as you've got good ears, Right? So I'm saying, hey, Alice, let's go out tonight, right? Fine, now you know I'm going out tonight. Let's go to that place we went last night, right? Cool. All right, we're on. Now what do you know? You don't know nothing. You don't, you don't know where we're going You don't because you don't know where we went last night, right? So sniffing helps, but it doesn't always give you what you need to really get where you're going. There's a slide here somewhere that shows the wall of sheep. Uh, we'll get to it, and and you know ultimately that's your goal, right? Ownage, you, you know another another name on the wall of sheep. That's what we're trying for whenever we talk man in the middle. Sometimes you can sniff it, sometimes you can't. So you got to be smart about it. So we're actually going to do a demo right now. Um, this is a non-technical demo. This is one you might do in the SE class, except we're going to be talking pseudo packets. So. Back to the same conversation. I'm, I'm Bob. You're Alice. I say to Alice, hey, uh, you want to go to that place we went last night? You said it was fun, right? Now, here's the part you've probably already all thought of. Y'all are going to be Mallory, right? Mallory's the person in the middle, the monkey in the middle, the man in the middle. In this case, you're all going to participate and answer for Alice, right? You got one or two responses. One is, that's what he said. The other one is, that's what she said. I'll let you pick. I mean, it's up to you, right? So let's try this out. We're going to try it again with, want to go to that fun place again tonight? And you say, uh, it's, it's unclear, right? So, okay, we'll, we'll try the next one. Because they answered for you, I didn't hear what you said. So I'm like, uh, i got to clarify here, right? I really do want to go somewhere. Um, so... I say, hey, remember you said it was so much fun, you wanted to go every night, even though it was kind of dark and hard to get into? Uh, yeah, now you're getting where I'm going. 
and you all have dirty minds. So the next step is, obviously, I still didn't hear you. And this is something Tony actually mentioned to me before I entered the stage. You know, sometimes the first, the first authentication is fine. The second one's fine. The third one might be fine. But at some point, you can break these things down, right, if you jack with it. Next one is, come on, it's the place he said would be really awesome if they had better service and, and lots of hot dogs. Right? It's pretty obvious. At this point, I'm completely confused. I'm like, Alice, you have lost your mind, right? Uh, I don't know what's going on. Let's go to uh, uh, that new place called Pinky's Hot Dogs down on Las Vegas Boulevard. Right? Real place, by the way. I've heard it's really awesome. At this point, you can disengage, right? Mallory can disengage. You've got what you need in this conversation. And we'll do a technical demonstration in a minute. But the point is, you didn't let me get away with just doing a simple handshake. You didn't let me even go away with, get away with reminding him of our previous session. You made me state explicitly what was going on here, right? So that you could listen in on that and then take that to the next step. So what do we get out of man in the middle? Obviously, you can get reconnaissance, like we just did. You can get fingerprinting uh, of, of the a client that wouldn't normally show you their, their OS, their application, their personality. But with Jack and with the connection with man in the middle, you could certainly get that. NTLM capture, relay, escalation, redirection. At this point, I'm going to remind you that this is a 101 course, right? This is Man in the Middle 101. I absolutely do not mean here to uh, say that I'm going to cover all of this. And in fact, I'm not. What we want is ownage, right? And I will demonstrate a little bit of that. If you Google it, you know, so you're all going, okay, this is great. I'm going to go home and do it because I actually do want to... Um, figure this stuff out. If you Google it, you're going to find EaterCap, uh, Cane Enable, awesome tool, ARP spoofing, uh, Man in the Middle Framework, or is it uh, or is it Factory? I don't know. I, I saw a demo of it actually in the Arsenal. Very cool stuff. I love it. Websploit, Burp Suite. By the way, M MITMF is uh, built in Python. So a lot of these are built in Python. So when, when you go through some of the techniques I'm going to show you, then you'll be, it'll be a natural fit for you. Middler, fiddler, subsubverge, yes, you get it. And, and, and there's also a number of, there's a plethora of, of, of methods you can use. ICMP, uh, you can do spanning tree protocol manipulation, right? We've probably all read all about all of these things. But 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 actually doing it, if you're looking at, okay, tomorrow I want to actually start learning these things, doing these things, demonstrating to myself that I can get to the next level, then you need to go do um, a, a ARP or DNS or spanning tree, uh, and, and all of those require semi-advanced tools. So if those aren't your specialties, you might be stuck right out of the gate. This is why easy is good, and, and why I'm going to demonstrate a simple technique. It might not be practical in the real world, but probably is. Uh, this is actually from the DEF CON Roots Asylum area. It's, it's up on the, I want to say, the second floor of the South Tower. I don't know, get your map. And, and it's a really cool area set up just for kids. Last year it was called uh, um, DEF CON Kids, or two years ago. Anyway, it's just for kids, all kinds of demonstration. One of the posters they had up when I visited that area was any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. We all love that, right? This is a classic quote and one we use to our uh, benefit every day. And that's why I'm going to give you a really easy way to do a man in the middle, understand it, start manipulating it, playing with it, and uh, you can go from there because then you can build on all the other techniques you want. Use your particular flavor to add to it. So all we need is Scappy, NFQ, and we're going to bridge. So you got to kind of understand what's going on there, although I'm going to show you a script. Ubuntu 14.04 is awesome because it comes right out of the box with about everything you need. In fact, what you're going to do, if you wanted to do the demo, I'm going to show you here in a minute, and, and 
by the way, I'm praying to the demo gods. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Everyone says that, but it's so true when you're standing here. App get install bridge utils scappy. I think uh, actually there wouldn't be any commas there, but you get where I'm going. Scappy and Python NFQ. Those are the three packages you need. There's no config. You just go. At that point, you're ready to man in the middle on a bridge. So what we're going to do in the following demo is create a bridge, redirect some packets, and start mangling. The, the goal being mangling. I don't know what's going to happen here when I switch away from this show. So bear with me. We shall see. Yep, that's what I thought. So the demo machine you're looking at right here um, is actually exactly what I said. It's um, a uh, out of the box um, Ubuntu machine with those three packages and these three scripts. Absolutely nothing else. Installed it last night. So if it breaks, you'll know why. Oh, sorry. My bad. You're not looking at anything, are you? That's what I was afraid of. Oh, nice. Now you can see that part. Let's see if I can get back to my other one. It's on the opposite side that I expected here. Ah, there's my bridge. I'm using virtuals, so I basically just created the virtual uh, uh, interfaces on both sides of the bridge and stuck it up there. Uh, and then this is my Windows machine where I'm going to. So there's my bridge commands. I don't know if you all can see that or not. It's basically you bring your Ethernet interfaces up, you you create a bridge called man in the middle, in this case, um, add Ethernet 1 and Ethernet to it, and you bring it up. Easy peasy. Now we're going to do redirection. This is really, 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 really cool. And I say that because out of the depths of my heart, because about... Uh, probably seven years ago, I don't know when I started doing this, this involved compiling a crap load of, of stuff for the kernel, get loading modules or compiling in it. However you did it, it was just a pain. And it broke everything else you wanted to work. So insane. So these are great days when out of the box you're going to just load a module and you're good. In fact, this one loads automatically. So what we're going to do is uh, do IP tables. If you haven't learned IP tables, learn it. It's cool stuff. Um, you'll use it every day of your life. IP tables, um, the key part being that very last section there, which is NFQ. So instead of blocking a packet, instead of allowing a packet, instead of doing anything else with it, we're actually going to queue it. Default queue is zero. And you'll see why that matters here in a second. Let's go ahead and run both of those because then we'll just kick this off and you'll see what's going on. So we're going to bridge it. It's going to fail because part of it's already done. O2 redirect. So now packets are redirected. If we go over to our... Sorry, I'm not sure which side my mouse is on. There we go. If we go over here, we're going to find that, um, in theory, things should start right up. Web page is not available. That is awesome. Bear with me. Hey, what do you know? So we've got Google's page, right? That's because we're not uh, actually uh, uh, doing anything yet. If we actually, and, and uh, we defaulted to uh, uh, secure. So that's one thing to understand here uh, and immediately is this demo has nothing to do with us. SSL. Well, I say that. You're going to see that it does here in a second. But, but nothing to do with direct SSL uh, manipulation. So... What I'm wondering is why my Python isn't catching that. No, it is. What do you know? Here, let's try someplace else. Actually, let's just kill the browser. 
There we go. So what happened was we got over here and gladly forwarded. Ah, I missed it. So what we got was a redirect. So HTTP, www.google.com. Google's like, whoa, no way. I want to go secure. Redirect. It's a 302 found or moved kind of message. We'll, we'll try it one more time. I think you'll see it. Let me just break out of this. There you go. Let me stop my code. So we've got um, HTTP 1, 302, not found, and, and it gives the location that we ought to be going, right? So the browser, a compliant browser, is going to go, gladly, I'm on it. I've got secure, I've got SSL, I'm redirecting. We are good to go. That was just standard, no mangling. Now live here, we're going to see what we can do about editing this script. And this is how easy it is. Actually, I'm going to run through the script real quick. So I'm going to run through it real quick, and then if you have any questions later, you want to run back through it or whatever. But I think you'll find that this is exactly the, the in fact, this is all the code on this page. Uh, it may be missing one line, but it's really close to all the code. And uh, this is a standard script you're going to find anywhere if you Google the stuff I give you at the end. In fact, you can Google Python and NFQ, Scappy, and you're there. You will get this script because there's only one way to write it. <clears throat> so basically, uh, right there at the beginning, we're saying we're going to um, ma manage some packets. Give me a, give me a call back. I'm going to manage some packets. And then right down uh, towards the end, basically, we uh, set up a, a, a queue. And I don't know if it specifies Q0 or not, but essentially, there's a way here. Oh, there it is, Q0, right, which is the default. You can actually have, I don't know, I think thousands um, managing different types of packets. And then um, essentially going to take that payload, dump it back into the packet, and tell the queue that we're basically uh, modifying the packet. Now, in this case, uh, or what you saw already, we didn't modify it at all. We just said, hey, take this payload, put it in this, let it go. All right, we're good. But you see I've got prepped here some little edits that we can do. And this is the only real uh, way we're going to jack with HTTPS. Um, if they go secure, I can't see it right now. There are, there, are, there are methods for that. There are modules you can do. One on one course, guys, gals, people, humans. Is it better to be a human or a goon? That's what I want to know. Let's run this. Holy moly, where'd our lock go? You, you all know that the lock makes it means you're secure. Uh, anyway, so we're at still at, at HTTP, www.google.com, although we still have our redirect. Now, I don't know why Google lets you do that. Honestly, if you're saying to them, hey, I reached here through a redirect and you're on port 80, they ought to go, uh, I don't think so. Something happened, right? This is an obvious clue. But everybody likes to pick on Google, and honestly, so do I. That's all we did, though. So what we did effectively right this second is now we can sniff in real time. So we say, I go, um, I want to sniff for to make sure that Mallory is not listening to my conversation. I'm going to sniff all about Mallory, right? I'm not going to be able to stop it in time. But if I did stop it in time, you would see that um, Google was actually uh, showing, showing us the step-by-step -step search that I was doing. So M, M, A, M, A, L, M, A, L, L, right? It's all in plain text. I tried to filter out just plain text. Theoretically, this is all printable code, so I didn't spend much time with it. But uh, you get where I'm going with that. If we grepped that for Mallory, you would find it in plain text. And not only that, every you know, permutation of what I, what I was typing up to that. So you could tell it's a live, live thing. We'll get there in a minute. At any rate, you are seeing plain text when, in all reality, the, the end user of that machine should have been able to expect that they were using secure, because they were the day before. They didn't get a, a, an error, so I'm, I'm, you know, again, one-on-one techniques, but pretty useful. I mean, you could actually use that, right? 
So beyond that, what we're going to do is see if we can't basically change good to evil. That's, that's always a goal, right? That's never bad. That was my goal with getting you guys in on that joke, but it, it didn't work out very well. You very well protected on the good side. Let's see here what happens. I'm dumping stuff. I'm going to try again because it's like, oh, I don't know if that last one was good or not. Yeah, no, we're still good. Okay, good. So uh, at this point, okay, uh, end user has no idea. He's going to go, oh, I'm just going to search for something good. I love good stuff. Oop, Goog actually, wait. No, that's it. That's the term. I'm going to search for good stuff, right? Wow, it broke it. That's nice. There you go. There you go. Maybe I'm cached. Maybe I'm not even doing it. That's all right. You get where I'm going. Let's give it one more shot, and then we'll go back. We'll go on. How about if I go to www.good.com? Never tried this before. Should be fun. Oh, crap. It actually worked. We are manipulating live what's going on, somebody's browser, they don't know what's going on. Actually, I mean, obviously that's the best way to get caught if you're trying to like see somebody is like you just jack with what they thought they were gonna see. The best way would be to send them to evil or, uh, you know, G-O-O-G-L dot E dot com, right? So, I mean, they, it's, it kind of looks like where I was supposed to go. It looks just like Google, I'm gonna type in what I got. I'm good. Easy peasy. Actually, uh, with a little bit of edits, you could actually have this thing searching for um, just HTML. It just so happens that you got an HTML blob right there at the end. What it's doing right now is dumping all of it. So uh, including uh, packet, none of the packets are encrypted that you're seeing there. It's all over port 80, although you could encrypt over port 80, but it's not. Uh, what it is, it's compressed. So some of this stuff is compressed. Some of it's just binary garbage that's going on, um, sending icons and crap. Let's see, next step. We can mangle some more. Let's see what else we can mangle. Got another part of this here where I'm basically redirecting somebody. Oh, this is the same thing. So uh, basically I said before, if you really wanted to mess with somebody, then you go, uh, one thing, one annoying thing when you're trying to hack somebody is that the browser tends to remember what the last connection was. Uh, and, and many of them now try to go SSL if at all possible, right? Not all of them do, but some of them do. I just redirected Google to Giggle, which is kind of an interesting exercise. I've, I have no association with Giggle. It looks like a baby registry, so you can get all kinds of stuff on Giggle. It's probably not going to load up. I figured this would be safe content just in case some of the roots ended up down here, right? What I was going to do, though, is show you so if you happen to want to say google.com uh, How do I do a search? Somebody tell me. Oh, I got there. Honestly, cool. Um, I am searching for good. What does that look like? Uh, okay, good. Now let's change this to that. Nah, it's not even worth looking at. The funny thing was the last night when I was uh, messing around with this, I just happened to notice that whenever I went to giggle.com on accident because, wow, I don't know what happened. I just got in, I was going to Google and ended up to giggle. 
um, then it actually hit the search page and uh, was searching for something good. The word good, it was like good something for good gifts or whatever. And, you're like, and, and it came up with a 404 saying we have no evil gifts at this location or something like that. It was awesome. I was trying to re re replicate that. Uh, obviously, that's not going to work out for me. Let's close this browser and go back. Let's see. One more edit here I've got here, and then I think it it uh, kind of gets where we're going. And then we can talk about... I'm not even really going to talk through this one because I think it's going to be self-evident. My bad. We're back there again. Uh, this is this is another thing you got to work watch when you're doing pen testing slash hacking people. Is uh, you want to undo the stuff you did so it doesn't trip you up in the future. <laughs> if you're done with it, clean it up. It's really better for everybody. It doesn't leave any evidence behind. Um, uh, but that being said, uh, even if you're doing this on your own company, I mean, a serious note, if, you, if you're doing this even on your own company, get a get-out-of-jail-free card. You need to not jack with people without complete permission for everybody involved. And if you are intercepting stuff that's going over state lines or international lines, make sure you understand the law. That's my... I have permission from everybody here. Let's see here. Sorry. Oh, I just actually need to write that, don't I? I was cleaning up my own mess. I do not need to go to Giggle. I need now to go to the grand finale, which is... I open up my Google page and I end up on... Oh, Google. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Let me try it one more time. And then I'll just tell you what I was trying here. Defcon, good, evil. I'm going to run back through this in just a second so you'll understand why I put Defcon in here. Um, I'll, I'll post a version of the script somewhere. You can contact me at Bobby underscore Simpson on, on, uh, on Twitter. But... Uh, okay, I do need that one, actually. So what I'm trying to do is redirect HTTP to HTTPS. Ah, never mind. My bad. That is exactly what I shouldn't do right there. This last one, it stands alone by itself. It didn't follow my own vice and did not clean up after myself. So, let's try that. That should be fun. Now what we're going to do is launch our browser and find that instead of going to Google, which is where I meant to go, sort of, it's going to let me Google that for you. Have you ever used the site? It's an awesome site, man. Do it. Do it. I love it. I love it. I, it's, uh, my wife, every, almost everything she asks me, I send her one of these links. Yeah, it's always good. I usually come home late on those nights, uh, eat on my own. So uh, let me Google that for you. Is essentially uh, uh, something that creates a link that you can send somebody when they ask a completely, you know, obvious question. In this case, I am not trying to do that to y'all exactly. I'm just saying, uh, really seriously, if you uh, Google Scappy and NFQ, you're going to find some some uh, some demos, some tutorials, some things that are going to help you. Now that you've seen a live demo and you understand, out of the box, 1404, three packages, go to work. You know, go to town. It's it's awesome stuff. Um, and uh, in the process, you're learning the structure of Scappy, which is uh, awesome. And you're learning a little bit about um, Python if you've never done it before, which is also awesome. Everything in this script that doesn't have DEF CON before it um, is basically the only way you could possibly write it. All the stuff that has DEF CON is basically just a, you know, make up your own name. So, I mean, in a lot of code, it's like my data, my whatever. I, that's boring. 
DEF CON is uh, a lot more cool, and so what we're doing is DEF CON packet, DEF CON packet, DEF CON queue, all of these things, you give it your own name, you do what you want. There's nothing special about those things. That's sometimes hard to figure out when you get some code, you get download some code off the internet, oh, this is just exactly what I want. And then you can't figure out which are the functions, which are the variables, what's required, what's not required. This one kind of lays it out for you, so, um, but, after seeing this, uh, please just go go Google it. You're going to find some awesome stuff and be able to quickly set up a bridged man in the middle setup so that you can jack with people. Let's see what's next here. Oh, nothing. Now the trick's going to be getting back to. Ah, let you know. I already did the summary. 1404 app get bridge utils, scaffold get create a bridge, redirect packets, and that is cool. And man in the middle told you to do that, so always trust man in the middle. He's smart. Any questions? Anything I can help with? Anything you want to know about this setup or concepts in general? I haven't in Scappy actually looked at, um, at theoretically what happens. Uh, the question was, uh, what's necessary to actually do an SSL? Um, so, some of the tools I, I mentioned um, actually do, will do that for you. I, I would love to do a presentation in the future on um, you know, doing that. I haven't had the commercial necessity to intercept SSL yet, but... Um, you know, again, these SSL strip probably does a lot. Uh, I actually don't know. I actually don't know. Theoretically, though, what happens is you you send them your own cert, right? You send them a self-signed cert. They say, oh, I'm good. So, um, you know, Alice sends Bob a packet that, that uh, rely, relies on Alice's cert. Mallory gets in the middle, sends Bob uh, Mallory's cert, pretending to be Alice. As long as Bob is stupid enough to click OK, the, this is an obscure connection. Or, now here's a big or, if that SSL cert has already been installed on that PC, right? So then it's like, we're good. Somebody already authenticated this stuff, we're good. I have now have an SSL connection, two of them. One between Mallory and Alice, one between Mallory and Bob, and the data gets, you know, you know um, shuffled along and modified in the middle so that good becomes evil. Uh, Python-wise, I don't know what the tools are, but uh, I'll be back. Yeah. Oh, this is all three. Python 3. I think it's what comes with... Uh, with uh, uh, Ubuntu 14.04. Another reason to love it. Very cool. Love y'all. Love the, the venue. Thanks a lot, Ming. Thanks, Tony, for setting me up. You guys have a great show.